CBS and PBS Fire anchor Charlie Rose. He's the latest celebrity accused of sexual harassment. That growing list now also includes the longest serving current congressman. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey reports. Good evening, Jason. Hi, Wyatt. Michigan Representative John Conyers joins that growing list of men accused of sexual misconduct. That includes Charlie Rose, Judge Roy Moore, Senator Al Franken, Harvey Weinstein, and Kevin Spacey. One woman tells me it's time for Christians to change this corrupted culture. I believe in, in the American people, and I believe that with faith, we can make this happen. Patrice Anwuka of the conservative-leaning Independent Women's Forum reflects as Charlie Rose enters thorny ground. The Washington Post reports eight women accuse Rose of lewd words or unwanted touching. The 75-year-old journalist says he thought the women shared his feelings, but now he apologizes. Mr. Speaker, and, and harassment charges now also leveled against the longest serving so current long. congressman, Michigan Democrat John Conyers. BuzzFeed reports he settled a complaint in 2015 with a woman who says she was fired for rejecting his sexual advances. Conyers denies doing anything wrong. And Senate candidate Roy Moore faces similar sexual accusations. Republicans are scrambling to figure out what to do weeks before Alabama voters choose their next senator. I have real trouble with a guy like this serving in any public capacity or maybe serving in anything at all. But second, I have real trouble with telling the Alabama people what to do. The Constitution mm. requires that they exercise their judgment. Now, I, I have my own opinion on how I hope they exercise it. Patrice Anwuka says Christians need to be a light in the midst of this darkness. As a person of faith, I look at uh, as you know the Christian values and Christian, and at the the this, the root of it all, we're talking about character. But if we're not dealing with their character at the young age, then we're not going to be able to really influence the future workforce, uh, society, culture. Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi calls for an ethics investigation into Representative Conyers. The government has paid more than $17 million to congressional employees in the past 20 years, all to resolve claims of overtime pay disputes, workplace violations, and sexual harassment. Wyatt? $17 million is a lot of taxpayer money. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey reporting. Thanks, Jason.